We begin here at 11 with new developments in the investigation of allegations that police sexually abused migrants living at police stations. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability just released an initial report. NBC5's Patrick Fazio is live with late details. Patrick, what have you learned? Hey, Kay, yeah, COPA just wrapped up their uh, news conference on the investigation. They say they have not been able to substantiate any of the allegations so far. COPA, or the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, says they have not been able to find any migrant who says they're the victim of any sexual misconduct by a Chicago police officer. This investigation remains open and ongoing. But I can confirm that to date, we have not identified any migrants claiming to be the victim of sexual assault or any form of sexual misconduct by CPD members. The chief of COPA says they have investigated the allegations of an officer sexually assaulting a migrant in the 10th District Police Station from earlier this month. COPA also investigated a similar complaint against an officer in the 19th District. Both are anonymous complaints from fellow city employees. But COPA's investigation has found no migrants who claim to be victims. The alderman for the 10th District also spoke during COPA's news conference. I feel like it's always important that we affirm the work that COPA is doing. I trust their work. I feel like it would be a poor choice to leave any investigation in the place of, I don't know. And I know in the absence of clear and accurate information, we get what we find on social media. So even when the point of an update like this is to say the investigation is ongoing, all right, so while the investigation is still open and ongoing, as you heard, the city is still trying to work, uh, is still working to move the migrants out of the police stations into other housing. Reporting live in Westtown, Patrick Fazio, NBC5 News. All right, thanks for the update, Patrick.